Hi, Capcom 1 with more Refracted Reality today. This is Map 9 Ponax Ad Astra. And I am still using the Fast Manstos parameter, even on a level that is said uh, according to the in according to the intro map to have an overwhelming resistance level so this ought to be cool and awful some and spy and off and finally awful after several quiet levels perhaps some spicy gameplay to go with the visuals we already have a pretty atmospheric music track that seems to be playing in the background I showed this little stout area last time. And we're out into the wonderful blues and cyans of the Ponax Adastra now. Right now it seems like it's all an atmospheric buildup. Everything's quiet. Well, I guess the water counts as a void in this case. Arguably, I could say using a water texture is breaking the rule of it being a void, but I don't really care. I hope this music isn't any kind of copyrighted tune that YouTube is gonna get me for. Oh, 4D effect. Because clearly this door in 3D could only lead to a very small room. And yet, it leads... Oh, and we are in the void. It does not break the void rule. The beautiful blue space sky, always a great sky to see. And still no one around. Oh, the statue monsters, but all's quiet on the whetstone front. Nope, can't get in the center yet. Can't get there yet. This map looks pretty expansive to go with the somewhat higher monster count than we've seen lately. Everyone's frozen in place. The track is a little short, but I sure do like the tune. Oh, there's a switch here. And just like that, the imps come to life. And then that side too. Thanks, Hell Knight, you killed it. Nip for me. And another one. Can exit to the other side and continue on my journey. Revenant, still statues. <laughs> Can't go there. Got to go here first, I'm guessing. Keiko demons. Or maybe pain elementals, but those look more like Keiko demons to me. It's Statue City here. My 
only complaint about the music tune is could it be a little bit longer, but it still fits the mood just right in my opinion. Just making sure my brightness setting is good. Yes. And my end, I think that doesn't really affect the brightness on YouTube much, I don't think. Hang on, knows. A lot of statues around in this level. And I gotta find the switch that allows me to progress. Oh no, that center door opens. Gotta remember to just try the door sometimes as well. Oh, I caught that 4D effect. See how all of a sudden... I can look out and I see Spay and I see the... Actually, no, this isn't a 4D effect. I'm actually walking to where I see on the map to the north. It's not a 4D effect, it's just a type of void changes. Wait, no, it is a 4D effect, because look at where I am on the map. To my north, it looks like I've just got a straight away. See how it looks like I just have a straight away to my north. But then when I actually walk here, I'm not on that straight away, so there's a 4D effect involved in that. <laughs> now the skull switch. A way has opened in the abyss, and the demons are all rushing me. Often taking in the blue aesthetic themselves. Oh! No, I can't escape! I got to just continue forward. Revenants out it's gonna be very projectile heavy until I take care of them and fast. Fall in the void, but that doesn't get me out of the action. And in the next version, it'll probably give me some damage as well. I need to beat the revenant so I can find the chain gun out. Okay, where is the chain gun out sniping at me from? Oh, I see him. You're here. I see you. You die. Yup, and that's the back at the start of the level. Let me figure out what the 4D effects here is it. Uh, count how many degrees I'm walking at a time. If I can. Well, this is a very stout. Excuse me. I don't like doing that with the mic on. I didn't have time to get to the mute button. Oh, I'm back here. So this guy, this is where I went. 
and remember this door opened, I didn't notice it at first. So to prove there's a 4D effect, in addition to looking at the map, Oh, no, I can't go back the way I went, but there is a 4D effect. I showed it on the map. I better just focus on playing the level. Because I went this way, I can't go this way anymore. Now I have to go the other way. There's a lot of monsters in here. Okay, the super shotty, we fill my health and get ready for the fight. But way is open in the abyss again. This is going to be a crazy fight and fast to deal with. Oh. If I can kill the out vial and just escape vial at all, I can probably beat the rest of the fight without taking damage. I need to loop around, but we want the outrial isn't gonna light me up. So close, Blade. Go! I got the outrial. West ought to be a piece of cake. Yeah, piece of cake. Oh, and those doors open and let the Keiko demons in. So finally, have some more difficult gameplay. Hey, red and blue is purple, not black, you know. So seeing black Keiko demons is interesting. Almost black. They might be purple-ish black. The Sino plays casual difficulty wads with fast masters all the time. Perhaps sometimes when I don't mind dying, I'll play them as well that way, like I'm playing this. Don't expect me to play a slaughter wad with fast masters, mind you. Okay, I looped back to the beginning of the level. So obviously it's not really a loop because there was a 4D effect somewhere in there. So don't try and logically think that I'm going in a circle because in Euclidean geometry it's not going to necessarily seem like I went in a circle. 
Now I can get into the center. Which doesn't do anything at the moment. I guess I'll have to continue past the beginning to the next area. Here, I've already been in here. Could have to go through that, and perhaps that's what the abyss is. Probably behind that door is what's being referred to as the abyss. Well, the see how the floor is pitch black. That's probably what the abyss. Yeah, because a way has opened in the abyss. This time it's this way that's opened up. And yes, there's 4D effect over again. Look at where I'm in the map now. And I can see what's ahead of me. Yet look at where it actually is on the map. That's a plasma. I don't have a gun yet. There's more fire blue teal style this time. Oh, I could go there and get my plasma gun, but that doesn't look so welcoming. Is there anything else to do first? I could go across this giant bridge. Oh, you need a blue skull to activate this object. It's literally the score. It's literally a blue skull that needs the blue skull to activate. I mean, this wall is literally a blue skull. I see that supercharge. It's hidden away in some kind of, uh, some kind of secret. I guess I got to go and get the plasma gun. Which, oh dear, one out vial, two out vials. Two revenants, four revenants. We've got four revenants and two out vials that are all gonna be waking up. Oh, that's the switch. I'd like to explore my way before I flip that. Nope, I ain't taking the berserk right now. I'll take it to refill my health in the middle of the fight. I will take the ammo because I only have 30% at the moment. And if you're gonna telegraph that this is coming up, I'm gonna save that berserk as a health recharge. Can't exit, only way to go is flip this switch. The oath shakes a little bit. Oh, and the out files aren't up, oh, the out files aren't up yet. Not exactly what I expected. Oh, but as soon as I beat those mantles, more come to die. I think that's the first time I saw statue mantles come to life as a result of killing mantles. Previous times I've seen it from a switch. Oh, or it might be time day. Like they come to life after I flip the switch, but not immediately after I flip the switch. The other one came to life right. Whoa! Too much, way too much pink meat. This level definitely tough enough to make me struggle with fast man stars, unlike the last one.
down. Hit the wall. Just barely man. Whoa! That's not the pinky to get the least on the max, but in the outrails are still waiting. All these tomatoes are not going to be able to focus on the outfiles for very long. Oh, I did have that health left. Oh, there's the outfiles. Now the ball chose. Which, by the way, the ball chose for outfiles. I stole that name from the name of the level back to start on X episode 2. Got to play hide and seek to some extent. I really need to get two out files down to one at least. Oh, I stunned him about a quarter second after he lit me. I could have had the stunner just a little bit soon now. One of the outfiles is almost dead. Well, the Mancubus can catch up with me. Causes a problem. Got it done. Get it all done. There's a blue skull to open literally the blue skull. Not this blue skull, man. You. But I have to flip this switch to own my way back. <laughs> oh, the blue side will gift me my super trout. Come on, get fit through the hall. Another fight without vials of weights. Oh, I thought at first I don't see anyone else, but I see those imps. The bell just can barely make them out. The way to the eternity bridge has been opened. Fight your way down. Why'd I have to eat the rocket now? <coughs> Outrails activate right away this time. <coughs> I'll take a single jab to get rid of that. Now I need to... Having some plasma left might help me, otherwise I'd be worried about that. You know, I probably just want to clear the way so I can fire the rocket from a distance. Of course, the 
Fast Imps are way more dangerous than regular Imps. There are so many of these imps! Yes, internal level with overwhelming resistance with, with fast mantles is a ticket to get on, but since when did I mind die? Because even the overwhelming resistance levels of refracted reality are nothing compared to some of the slaughter maps I've seen for Doom. Like Sundo with fast mantles? That I don't think I could do. Oh, and there's a whole bunch of revenants. Oh, there's Keiko Deem and. There's revenants encroaching at me from one side and Keiko Demons from another. Get in this area is a little safe out. Well, it doesn't respawn me back in the safe back because why would it? Pain Elemental show was productive with regard to the Lost Soul. <laughs> I didn't want to fall off now. Use my super shot to some of these lost souls. These fast projectiles are certainly things you need to keep moving from. In that particular case, I did want to just fall in the void and reset my position. It won't be so easy in RC2 when it delivers damage.
Max, I've already been dead. I think I might be able to just escape back into the abyss area. Can't it? My only way back out of the abyss is this way. Oh, and I can get to more of this now. I think now I can show the 4D effect without using an auto map. Notice this straight away. That will be beyond this door, but it isn't. And this is one long straight away with power ups looking to make it dead, looking to be dangerous. Berserk and then a super child, so guaranteed two percent, a guaranteed two hundred percent health. <clears throat> well, that's a little bit of a funky way of connecting the Hellions. After all that, the one across the straightaway was quiet, but it's obviously a build-up. I mean, I was just gifted 200% health for free, and now, and now all this plasma. And all this extra health that I can't possibly need at the moment. Because the key word is, at the moment. The final all onslaught is upon you, survive. It's gonna be quite some onslaught. Oh, there is a BFG. So the BFG spam, I still have to worry about staying alive though. Ha! Ha, 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 staying alive, staying alive, ha, 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 staying alive! Staying alive, staying alive, staying alive, staying alive, ha, ha, ha. Ha, staying alive, staying alive, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> what does the cyber demon tell? Talk about BFG spam with fast masters. I ought to wonder if I could beat map 26 of sight with fast masters. Since that's like the original BFG spam. Or beat go to it with fast masters. That isn't purely a BFG spam necessarily. Out of BFG. I can only BFG spam for so long. Get the BFG spam for a while, but I do run out. 
plenty of feast time for a lot of the trash. Hulk those out vials now and Cybo Demons. Cybo Demons aren't such a big deal, but out vials without any good get some energy cells so I can BFG watch the out vial. Except there's another out vial and there's another out vial! More BFG food. I go that or need to rock and spam up. Oh, I do have a super child to refresh my health. I really need to clean up those out vials and that pain elemental because he is just completely cluttered on me with lost souls. Fast pain elementals seem to be absolute nightmares with regard to lost souls. Especially in a bot that doesn't have the 21 lost souls they make. Actually gonna get held over when the cyber demons are dead and at least have the out that last out vial down. Outwell is down. Now I can finally deal with other stuff. Pain elementals are the next priority, probably. The man can they fly high. With the ever pleasant threat of eating rockets, too. I've had well over a hundred lost souls spawn in this area. And now it's getting to be a time where I want one of the cyber demons to fall because I'm getting sick of eating rockets. The three cyber demons, I thought of only two. I've only got 18 monsters that aren't dead in this entire level, and that includes the Lost Souls, so I'm almost done with this map.
Soko strafing is still your trusted friend. That's one of the cyber demons down. At the hundred percent, once I once my mega shield run off, I'm one hit kill for any cyber deem, any rocket. Still plenty of health that but that doesn't help me when rockets can kill me in one hit. It's not about having it's not about not running out of health, it's simply about not being dead. Which of course you could argue that because it's about not being dead, that's Synonymous to saying it's not run about not running out of health. So I should clarify it's not about it's not about having enough health pickups around. It's about not dying. Another one falls. Mm, mm, mm. Another one bites dust. And another one gone, and another one gone, another one bites the dust. Hey, gotta get you too, another one bites the dust. I guess that was the queen cyber, and now I'll have to kill the king cyber. Who I just did. The peaceful darkness has been cleaned. The peaceful darkness has been clean. Now let eternal uh text didn't stay up for long enough. Oh well. Everything is going quiet. It's eerie silence. And we'll exit this level with the switch here. Yep, flip the switch that began the fight again to end it. And whoa, what a level and Hopefully what the video provided you didn't mind me seeing seeing me die over and over again. I love that that's a proper adrenaline rush. When those fights mind you. Some of the time it was just atmosphere, but when I had the fights going with fast masters, that was a proper adrenaline rush. I really enjoyed that and I hope you really enjoyed watching it. And yeah, the blues and cyans were beautiful too. Back into eternity. <clears throat> and I wonder when this will ever open up. Probably only after I've beaten like everything else. There's actually another blue le- Do- What is map? Ten. Map 10 is yellow and blue. It's going to be duplexity. I actually guessed it right. Well, there's only three portals that stay, that aren't bowed off that still have crystals above them. So I guess I had a one in three chance of guessing it right. But yes, we'll have some yellow to go with our blue next time in duplexity. And another space guy by Leo Doom. Quite a healthy monster count. We'll see what Leo Doom has in store for us in his first contribution sequentially. 
see you in the next video.